Hello everyone, Dr. Blade. Everybody who knows me, all my clients will tell you, I am very connected and concerned about their improvement. After my lessons with my clients, I email them the lesson plan, tips, and drills that we went over. I send them the, um, the videotapes of the video lesson that we did so they can actually look at their self in the lesson environment. I am highly dedicated to making sure people enjoy this golf game. I email my clients, I text my clients just to see how they're doing, to see if they stand on track. It's just who I am about really wanting to grow the game. So I had a couple conversations and something similar came up and I said, let me share it to my YouTube channel. A lot of people have problems taking their practice to the golf course. Again, a lot of people have issues taking their practice to the golf course. On the practice tee, they'll hit some of the best shots they ever hit in their life, and when they get on the golf course, they cannot make it work on the golf course. There's multiple reasons for that. One, on the practice tee, there's no penalty. On the golf course, there is penalty. That's number one. Number two is you have to practice with purpose. I'm gonna keep drilling that in, practice with purpose. What I suggest my clients do on the practice tee, go to the practice tee with a specific goal. What I do at night, I sit down and I write down what I wanna achieve on the practice tee. Is it bump and run 75%? Is it three quarter shots? Is it, is it half shots? And I make sure that's what I work on. I'll also pick a target out 100 to 125 yards away and I'll take 40, 50, or 60 balls and I'll see if I can get 90% of those balls on that 100 and 125 yard green. That's a very specific target. What it's ingraining, it's ingraining target golf into me and it's giving me a focus, something that I'm really working on. So many times we go to the practice team and we're, we're all over the place. So when we leave the practice tee, we really haven't ingrained nothing that's gonna help, our, help us in our golf game. So I want you to be extremely specific. I also want you to realize that if you're on the golf course, you have to play target golf. So many people go to the golf course and they try to fix their swing. It's not the place to fix your swing. With our premium setup, you already know two things. If your ball contact is off, just make sure you have enough weight on your target side. If your ball flight is off, check two things. Make sure your shoulder, your rear shoulder is not flaring open and club face angle at address and impact. Those are the only two things you need on the golf course with this premium setup. Let's get back to practicing with purpose so you can actually take it on the golf course. I suggest you work through your bag. I also suggest that you play from different lies, out of the rough, out of divots, out of a perfect lie, off a of tee, because on the golf course, that's what you're going to actually do. So what you're doing is starting to ingrain the same way you practice and the same way you play. For those rare times when you're working on something, when you're trying to change something and develop something, that is when you have tunnel vision. You're working on staying more closed. So that's your goal. You're not concerned about where the ball is going. Your concern is, am I staying closed? You're working on making sure your weight is on your target side. Don't worry about the ball. Make sure on every shot, you feel as though your weight is on your target side. You're working on getting more extension in the backswing getting more wide, a one-piece takeaway. That's all you work on. Pivot your weight and make sure when you take that club away that you're not bringing it up. 
You're just taking it away really nice and easy and you're creating that swing key that you're working on. Those are very rare times when you're working on a specific goal to improve your golf swing. And it's very rare that you're doing that in the golf season. I pick times where I'm taking two to three weeks off and the only thing I'm working on is something to make me a better, more consistent player. Then once I work on that, I take it to the golf course and I ingrain it on the golf course. Pick out very specific targets. So many times we wanna hit the big stick. Pick out targets from 70, 75, 80, 90, 100, 120, 130, 140 yards and get accustomed to playing those shots. Over 70% of the shots we hit on the golf course are within 125 yards into the green. But those are the shots we rarely practice. I can go past the short green area, the pitching area, and the sand bunkers, and nobody's in them. But everybody's on the range hitting driver. Go figure that one out. The driver is important. There used to be a saying, drive for show, putt for dough, but that's baloney. Because let me tell you, if you're not in the fairway, you're not putting for dough either, okay? Because all of it is relevant. So build your golf swing. So again, if you want to be able to take your practice from the practice tee to the golf course, start being specific. Pick out very specific targets and work through your bag. If you're going to play golf and you have a tee time, do not go to the practice tee and practice. Hit about four or five balls with your pitching wedge, nine iron, seven iron, hybrid, five iron, and a few with your driver. <coughs> Excuse me. Go to the putting green and just get a feel of the greens for that day. Hit about 20 to 25 bump and run shots and then go to the first tee and tee off. You're not going to practice when you're going to play golf. Make sure that you're not doing that. If you're practicing, before you go play golf, it's going to be a disaster for you. The only thing you want to do when you're going to play golf is warm up and get yourself in that target mentality. Take these tips, give them a try, implement them, flush out the bad, and keep grinding. I guarantee you, if you keep grinding and you start practicing with a purpose, you'll be able to take your practice time to the golf course. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, leave your comments, and I look forward to hearing from you via email, social media, YouTube, whatever. I get back to everybody. Take care, and remember, keep grinding. Peace.